Well, today is the 24th of October, and I'm a little late for doing this because of I've had, I've had health issues for 12 weeks. This, these are some of my box turtles, and I'm getting ready to put them into hibernation or bermation is a bermerate. Brumerate is the proper term for reptiles hibernating. They don't hibernate like mammals, but for the sake of argument and being less scientific for the lay person, let's just call it hibernate. I've been wanting to make a video for this for years, so here I am. Um, these are some of them. I have more. These are just my... Uh, These are all captive reared. These are all my youngsters. These are like three, three or four years old. And I hibernate them because I, that's what they do in nature. I believe that that's what people should do. But here's my issue with, with, with box turtles. I don't think anybody should own them, to be honest with you, because they should not be kept inside. They just languish inside. They just They need to be kept outside where they can forage and live a kind of a natural life as much as possible. But all of mine are rescues. These are all babies that, that I hatched out years and years ago. And um, so this is what I do. I dug them up out of the enclosure so I can safely hibernate them without any issues, and I check them. Now, this one is underweight. I can just tell by lifting it up. She's underweight. She's not going to go into hibernation. Um, this one's not going to go. This one's not going to go. This one, no, this one's not going. This one can go. This one can go. I can just tell by their weight that they got enough weight to make it through the winter. And this is what I'm going to show how I do it. I have them soaking right now in a vitamin... Uh, mineral electrolyte thing that's for, used for poultry right now i don't know what i did with the bag but i put some in there so they so they hydrate themselves now i just dug them up they've been underground oh she's really look at see how fat she is the fat sticking out of her bottom of her legs there yeah she's 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 good to go and these are her two babies that i just dug up they're going in to the refrigerator till spring. I know that doesn't make sense, but that's what they do. They they hatch out like in August. They stay in the ground. They don't come out till spring. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in a container of some sphagnum moss and uh, stick them in the bottom of the refrigerator till till April. And those are the babies of this one here. So anyway, this is what I do. I get a couple totes. And it's filled with peat moss. And I make it damp. If you look at it like this, it's not soaking wet, but it's damp. I use the hose. I spray it like this. And then I mix it by hand. And I make it, you don't want this stuff dry. Box turtles have to have high humidity. The reason why I use peat moss, peat moss is very acidic. So what it does, it keeps the bacteria and it keeps the mold from growing. I've been doing this for years. I've been hibernating box turtles like this for at least 15 years. And I mix it up. And as long as there's no water running out of it, it's, you can see that it's, it's, it's damp like this. But it's not, um, it's not wet. You want it like that. That's what you want. It. You want it damp. And you want to mix it by hand. You want enough where they can bury themselves in there. You just go through it. You look for the dry areas and you just, you make sure that you break up the dry areas with the moist areas. And peat moss holds its moisture very well when you keep it closed. Okay. And, um. I have a male that I'm going to put in here because you can't put him with another male. They start to fight. So he's going to go in there all by himself. So anyway, and this too. Now I have lids for these things. 
and the lids will go on them. And what I do is very simple. Everything's mixed up. I just put them on the wall back there for the winter. This is an attached garage to the house, but it's not heated. It doesn't get terribly cold, but it gets cold enough to put them to sleep, more or less, for the winter. If that makes any sense. I've been meaning to do this because I have gone online on YouTube a million times over the years looking for a video on how to hibernate box turtles. And I've never seen anything. I've just never, never seen anybody explain anything that's worth value or simple enough. Now I got a lid for that. You know, they'll go in there. But basically, I don't do anything else. But just, I, I will level it out. Just like that. I'll pat it down so it's kind of firm. In you go. That's it. That's all I do. I do the same thing with these. Just got a lid for it. The air gets through these anyway. You can put females together. You can put as many females as you want. If you have males, you got. You can put one male with a bunch of females, but you can't put the multiple males together. They fight terrible. Uh, Easterns are worse than three toes, at least in my experience. But anyway, and what will happen is I'll periodically check on them in the winter to see if they're hydrated. If any of them come up and they're, they're semi-active, I will high rehydrate them. I'll just stick them in a tub like this with an electrolyte, mi mineral, uh, vitamin, mineral, soluble, poultry stuff, um, and soak them. And then I'll put them back under. So it's real simple to do. I wish somebody told me this years and years ago, and I really hope it's useful to anybody that keeps these animals. I mean, they're wonderful animals, but honestly, don't give them for kids. And if you keep them in an aquarium in your home, you're just ruining their lives. They're, you're ruining their lives. I don't sell them. I refuse to sell them because it's, I don't think it's ethical. Um, but what I do do is I have a place... I have, a, I have, I have a place out of state where the where the easterns and where the three toes are native, and when they're a certain size, I just release them and let them go in back into the let them go back into the wild as it should be. Till next time.